big, big, big. That was gigantic. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cast and Conquer channel. I'm your guy, Andrew. We got Steve behind the camera. We're on last ice in March right now. And we are staying at Sandy Beach Cottages in Eganville, Ontario. We're about to go out on Lake Clear, one of the clearest lakes I've ever been to. Crystal, crystal clear water. We're gonna target some burbot and walleye tonight. We're heading out, it's about two o'clock right now. We're gonna target that evening window, staying right up until probably midnight and hopefully get on some big gold bars and some poor man's lobster. So let's make our way out. The water is right in front of the cottages. There are six different cottages to choose from, five in the winter, six in the summer, and you have amazing access right to the lake here. Let's drag our sleighs out through this sand on just a little bit of sketchy ice and out to our Eskimo that is already set up way out there. Let's get going. Alright guys, we made it out on the ice. We are going to put out some set lines. We're going to use some jaw jackers, some HT flags, and the deeper chirp too to set our set lines. Some meathead jigs with stinger hooks for burbot on the bottom. So all we're going to do to get this precisely where we want it, we're going to drop it all the way down watching on our phone here. You can see on the flasher right here, the two little lines going down. And that is the split shot and the minnow. Now that a minnow on the graph is showing really good so right there we are on the bottom now we're just gonna reel it up ever so slowly you can see that split shot just showing now now I'm watching the flasher because you can see a little bit more separation than compared to the graph and now you can just see it's about a half a foot off the bottom and now that is where we're gonna want to set the tip of our rod for our jaw jacker Again, watching the flasher and setting it that six inches precisely. Okay, so we're at hole two, the HT flag. We've got a frostbite true grit here with a meathead jig and a little stinger hook. We've got our deeper in the hole, all ready to go. I have my phone here so I can see it going down. You can see that jig head just going down, 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 15. 20 25 feet so we're a little bit more over the lip here on a steep section of the drop we just hit bottom so we're gonna put that and i like to put it upside down because i find that the line comes off the reel a little better and that way too the flag doesn't really hit your reel now i'm just putting that about three inches off the bottom so i'm lifting if that's bottom see if we can see it here there, that is three inches. So we're gonna flip that around. Now you can see on the flasher again, it's just barely able to see. We're gonna tuck that flag, pointing the flag away from the line, like so. All right guys, it is six o'clock. That sun has just gone down below the mountains and it is time. We've been out here for three hours, but it took us time to get our line set, get the holes re-drilled, move our tent over 27 feet. And we got our line staggered outside in 22 and then 35 for a walleye with a live minnow and a burbit with a dead bait on the bottom. But we will be starting in the tent with the slap shot from Frostbite Diesel 1000, Frostbite Braid and 8 pound test, 8 pound fluoro, and then we're gonna go to a big scissor kick that we're gonna charge under a light and get some glow. We load it up with some dead minnows and that'll work for both walleyes and burbit. We're gonna fish that bottom one foot and just pound bottom. And if we think it's a walleye coming in, we could try to work it up. But if we're sure it's burbs, we'll just keep that bottom contact all the time. I also have on a deadbolt pout spoon there that we will be glowing and loaded with chunks of minnows. I like to upsize my hooks when I'm fishing for burbs so I can get a lot more minnow on there. And if I find if I'm pounding bottom and the minnows are falling off, I carry elastic bands with me. And I cut small pieces of elastic band that I'll just stick over the treble hooks to keep those minnows pinned on. And that is the tip of the day, but we're gonna drop in right now. We're gonna start pounding that sand and we're gonna get some fish. Baby, come now. I need a job now. I need a job now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you got? 
<laughs> you will not give it up on that one, dude. It's a walleye. It's a walleye! <laughs> he was right! They're the walleye! <laughs> oh my god, as if that's how our night starts. Well, we got the first fish of the night. That is not how we wanted to start it. PB! PB, smallest walleye ever. But we didn't have any of these guys last night and we saw a bunch of fish on the bottom last night and already tonight that are like glued to bottom and I thought that they were the million of perch that are here during the day that's just hiding from predators but it looks like Mick was right and it is these little dink walleyes. So we're gonna get this guy back. We're gonna rig that scissor kick back up, glow it back up and get it back down there in hopes that the next one is hopefully bigger than that one. At least double. Yeah, at least double. <laughs> Got a bell. Oh yeah, still going. Still going. How many take off the bell? Oh, it just got wrapped in the bell. It just got wrapped in the bell. It's wrapped. It's wrapped. He's pulling line. Set it by hand. Set it by hand. Deal with it after. Feels like a burb. Uh, might be a walleye. Burp. Ready? Let's go, dog. Yes. Let's go. That's dog. an early burb, man. Let's go. That was on the big chunk. On the big chunk. Amazing. Big chunk of chub. Solid burb. Amazing. I think That's we're. No. I think we're gonna let this one go. He's a little bit small. There's never graceful releases with these guys. Oh, that was pretty nice, actually. See you later, buddy. Right on. First oh, yeah. bell, first set line. First fish we've actually seen. We just saw a white fish on live scope, but that is a good sign. First one of the night. We're going to get the deeper, get back out here, set this line back up, and hopefully that is just the start. It is 7.30. Got lots of time left. This is right when it kicked off last night. I'm pumped up. Right on cue. They're around. 7.30. Here yeah. burb. That's the burb. Burb. Burbits. Imagine like a 15 pound burb though. Oh my god, that'd be so sick. The fight too would be epic. Want some dipping chips? Yep, I'm coming for some. They make all kinds of different dips too. I love the pickle boys. Yeah, me too. Two giants, dude. Two giants. He's gonna eat you. He's gonna eat you for sure. There's one right on you, one coming to me. Come on. No. 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 Those are two giants, dude. Together. Like, those are 225s, probably. Oh, yeah. What do you have on? A, a scissor spoon? kick with a glow. So I'm not gonna change yet. You have a spoon, I have a hiker. Let's do two good things. Come on, be a burbot. Oh, he just bumped it. Oh. Not a, I don't think it's a burb. Off the bottom. Ate it off the bottom though. It is a burb, it is a burb! Let's go! Yes, my first jigging burb. That's so awesome, dude. So sick. He bumped it off the bottom. Yes. We got a burb on the scissor kick. It's not a giant one. But it is my first one ever jigging. I've caught countless on set lines in the last couple years that I've actually tried to target them jigging in the tent. I've never been able to seal the deal. But he's good. He's going back. He's a lucky boy. Down the live scope hole. One, two, three. See you later. 
saw him come in like he was like 10 feet away. Steve was like, I think there's a fish there. I started pounding bottom. Then we saw this little fish leaving. And I was like, oh, I think he left. And then all of a sudden a fish just showed up on me. I hit bottom a couple times, lifted up. He bumped it, bumped bottom, lifted back up, smashed it. So we're going to charge this white and pink scissor kick back up. We're going to get some more minnow chunks back on there. Maybe it's going to be a burb night. Maybe the walleye bite might be tough, but if the burbs keep biting, I'm okay with that. They're long, oh, no, no, that's, that's a walleye. He's come back, he's going to eat it. It's not a giant, but I'd say it's like a 15, 16 inch. Do it. Yes. Let's go, baby. Nice one. Nice one. One burbot already. Walleye. It's starting, man. Yep. It's starting. We've been eat. seeing more and more marks on the screen. Just not committing. We're trying to get live scope cam going for you guys, but we're having camera problems. So nice and gold. See you later. Oh yeah, she, he's she's ready. ready to go. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Nice, buddy. B big burbot, I think, dude. He just bumped it. Just bumped it. Come on. It's a walleye, it's huge. I'm sure it's a big burp. As soon as I glowed it, dude, I couldn't even get the bottom and he started coming up for it. Dude, that's a giant fish. That was a burp, it was like a 35 incher. That was big, dude. If it was a walleye, it was a giant walleye, too. That was the night maker there. He might come back, he's in the area. I really think it was a burp. How yeah. slow he was. Yeah. And if I knew when I th thought that it was a burbot and he was already like 10 feet off the bottom, the if bottom. I, I would have stayed, kept him close to the bottom, yeah. Do it. Do it, Steve. Come on. Garlic bread's burning. It's okay. Come on, you're right there. There's two. There's two. Oh, there's two. There's two giants. Two giants. Some big fish around tonight. Like big ones around tonight. We got garlic bread on the menu. Garlic bread on the menu, Jay? Oh yeah. So good? Yeah. I don't know if they come if burbs will come in suspended. If, if anybody's watching and they know a lot about burbot fishing, is it normal to see them swimming around like three to five feet off bottom and then when they come in they go down to the bottom? I don't know. You tell me. Yeah, you got it? Yep. No way. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> just one on you. There's still one over by you. We're on the burbs, baby. On. We're on the burbs, baby. Well, Steve had a burbot come in on his side. We're sure it was. Like I said, I'm not sure if burbot, if it's normal for them to come in suspended. But we're having big fish come in like four or five feet off bottom and then go down to bottom. So we were watching Steve's fish and then I was just pounding bottom, honestly trying to call him over to take him from Steve. And Which out one? Of, out of nowhere. No, it's a different fish. Oh, it's a different fish. I'm sure it's a different fish because you still have a fish by you. So we got a nice burb. They're all over the screen right now. This is hot burbot fishing. Another one on the jig, this time on a pout spoon. Just glowed up. I've been switching every 10 minutes between what's glowing so I always have something bright down there and he spit out my minnow it's a beautiful burb we're gonna get this guy back see you later alligator bye graceful release but were you on bottom or a little off bottom I hit it I lift up three inches hit it lift up three inches hit it lift up three inches pause five seconds hit it lift up three inches hit it lift up three inches we got burb all around us guys outside and then came in because we were having so much activity here that we're jigging and then we put our dead stick rod from outside in the tent with dead bait on it so we can maybe have one of those finicky burbot pick up the bait in between the two of us just like touch oh. Oh, yeah. it's a big hit he's on he's on he's on he's on yeah yeah 
is on. On the dead stick line, it paid off taking that line out of our side, man. Definitely one of those big... Oh! It's a big burb. It's a big burb. It's a big, it's burb. A big burb. It's a big one. Oh, it's a pike. It's a pike? It's a pike. No way. It's a pike. <laughs> it's a pike. How do you not cut this off, dude? What? It's a pike? It's 10 o'clock at night, a pike. Oh. Yeah, a pike or ain't no. He's got your other line. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. Let's go. We'll take it. We fished pike for two days and struggled, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, 30 feet of water. Well, we thought we had burbot messing with us on bottom. This guy comes in, just cruising around on the bottom forever, playing with us, going back and forth between us. We had pulled one of the lines from outside so we could have, uh, a minnow laying on the bottom in here thinking that these were burbs. It was actually... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> A feisty pike making a huge mess. He was sleeping. <laughs> Holy moly! Okay, okay. Now that you got everything wet. Last well, show, because he is... He's not happy. He's ready to go up. Down this hole right here. Down the hatch. Come on, are you sleeping? I know it's nighttime, but you decided to eat, so might as well go back. Bye, there he goes. Way to go, buddy. Let's go, lad. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> dude. Big, 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 oh big, giant God. burbot, dude. Giant burbot. Oh, he came off? That was gigantic. That was gigantic. That was like a 15 pounder, dude. That was a giant. Maybe you'll bite again. That was a giant, man. When he went down, I, w I didn't even have him on. I know, because the hook hooked Run, the ice. Hooked the ice. You were trying to pull him into the hole and he turned his head <coughs> and just came unhooked. At least we got to see it. That was giant. It was giant. That was giant. That was giant. Two and a half, man. Ah! That was a giant, dude. I felt the bite right away. It hooks at it. That was ah. the biggest burbot I've ever seen yeah, in my same life. Here. Same here, man. By far. That, that was, was so like a fat. 35 incher. It was huge. That was so. The, the head was big. Yeah. This was nice. Another burb theme! Good one again, eh? Yeah, yeah, this one's so nice. Do not lose him at the hole. I see him, I see him. It's not as big as the other one. But it's still a good one. It's still a really good one, bud. It's a good one. It's a good one. I'm just making sure you're not caught on the ice. Oh yeah, this is a giant. Oh! No, Steve! Dude. Your swivel got caught, I heard it. Just losing giants left and right all winter. Dude, man! Didn't even get to see it good. She's getting frustrating at this point. What the hell, man? Didn't even look big on the screen, it was huge. It was big, man. I know. It was big. I know. I felt, it felt, it, it fought, felt, it fought better yeah, than the last, other felt one. It heavier than the other one. My god. Why, 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 why is that happening? <sighs> Don't. Steve, I swear. Look at me, I'm not doing anything I wrong. I swear, Steve. Drag's good. It sounds a little loose, but don't. Just keep good tension, just keep tension. Yeah, you're barely reeling on him. You're at the swivel, it's right there. I see him. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. It's not as big as the first one we lost, but. Keep tension, keep tension. Let's get it, baby! Finally! After three losing two giants bigger, we landed it, baby! That's a good one, dude. Oh. 
Come on. Barely pinned. It's barely pinned? Yeah. I'm putting this shit on my drag. That's still like a six, seven pounder. That's a really Dude, good. we did it! That's a really nice <laughs> one. Let's go, man. <sighs> That's a nice one. We got it, man. I missed two back-to-back -back heartbreakers. And then this guy was pounding bottom and I saw him coming from far. Kept pounding, paused it two seconds and boom! We got him. Super baby. beauty. Yeah, we got him. That's nice a big guy. bird, man. That's a nice fish. Beauty, beauty, beauty. I'm gonna let her go. It's sad that the other two were quite a bit bigger than that. Dude, but way bigger, man. Yeah. It's so sad. They were actually way bigger. Sick. Yeah, this is a nice guy. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's get her back. Ow. On the buckshot. Right On the there. buckshot. Slow buckshots. Hey, look at that, like a snake. Let's go, man. Hey, so sick. Yes. Nuts. Yeah, it's midnight right now. We've decided we're going to stay till one because the last three bourbon have been really good ones so it's the last night we're gonna full send and stay another hour and see if we can get one more big burb like that well that is gonna wrap it up boys and girls it is 1 a.m we fished hard we had a lot of bourbon today it was really good we learned a lot i haven't had a lot of opportunity to be able to fish bourbon and i always seem to get them on set lines so to be able to get them in the tent learn a little bit of the cadence of how you got to pound bottom with those buck shots scissor kicks pout spoons meathead jigs with minnows on them and obviously we got some on the set lines too but it's been an absolutely amazing trip great three days great finisher day today can't say a big enough thanks to miles at sandy beach cottages the stay was amazing the venue was amazing the lake is amazing the fishery here is crazy crazy good big walleyes huge pike that we saw big perch we saw a big burbot we landed some burbot and all in all, it was a great trip. I hope all of you enjoyed it as well. On that note, we are going to pack down. We got to walk all the way back in to the cabin, jumping some cracks on the way in, and hopefully stay dry. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Don't forget, go down below, subscribe. It helps me out big way. See you guys later. Big, big, big. That was gigantic.